Hey, welcome back. I'm really glad to see you again. So if you watched last week's episode, you'll remember that I told you that for today's episode, I was going to be filming something extra special. Now, all of last week, I was away on a really exciting PR trip. And the plan was to film all of the content and then put it for today's episode. But it wasn't until we got to the event that we were told that all of the content that we were filming wouldn't be able to be released until August. So this week's episode is not what was planned. Uh, it's Sunday morning now. I released the film Sunday evening. So you're watching it now, Sunday evening. So I've had to film something very quickly. I only got back from the trip yesterday. So I thought that I would do something for summertime to do with the house. Um, I always like to shop online and look at ways of improving my house. So I thought that I would share with you some of the things that I've seen that I think are great for the summer just to spruce up the house a little bit without spending too much money and creating too many changes that will just bring summer into the home for you. So I thought that that would be a fun thing to do today. I always think that one of the easiest and most effective ways that you can change up your interior decor for the summertime and in fact any season are with the small accessories and the first one that always comes to mind for me is cushions and blankets. So these are things that I always like to have in my house for comfort and for the aesthetic and I think they can really come into a room and sometimes dominate them in the best way possible and change up the decor in ways that you wouldn't expect. I always like to change my pillows, cushions, blankets throughout each season to really represent what is going on in that season and give a little bit of a change to my decor. It's always fun to change up the house in these small ways so that you can freshen things up and enjoy your home all year round. Now blankets are one of the things that I use a lot. Uh, you can see that I've got this green one on here and Although I would prefer to have my sofa without a blanket, uh, and often I do have it without one, when you have a little dog like Sophie who likes to go for walks, <laughs> uh, the dusty paws on a white sofa is something that you have to constantly manage. So from time to time, I do put a blanket on there so that I can not have to keep washing them. Now this sofa is pretty useful because everything comes off and you can put it into the washing machine, but it is a pretty labor intensive task to do that. It takes all day to wash and dry, and then you have to press it and put it all back on, which is a real big job. So from time to time, I do like to use a blanket just to put on here so that I don't have to keep washing, washing, washing. Also, when you wash a lot, it will eventually start to uh, deteriorate the the loose covers. I've had this one for a long time so I do want to keep it in as best condition as possible. So a blanket is a great way to do that if you have a dog but also if you don't have pets I just think that blankets add a splash of colour. Again this is a plain sofa so adding a splash of colour with a blanket is very easy and affordable and there are so many different choices to use and it's exactly the same with cushions. So these particular cushions I've had for a few years and I had these made. So this is a Colfax and Fowler fabric. I used it for another item in the house, the table, which has the skirt on it. And so I thought that it'd be nice to tie the two together and have a real nice green fabric in my house. The only thing is these are quite thick. This is a thick material. It looks a little bit like wool even though it's not. So I think even though they're green and bright, maybe for summertime I need something a little bit more light. The good thing about these cushions is I didn't have enough fabric to do both the cushions, front and back, and the table. So on the back, I chose this satin green fabric. Now this is more of a summer thing. I think it's light and soft. So if I just want to change these over, I can do that. And it does make a difference. So that is another thing to think about. If you want to have custom cushions made using the fabric of your choice, think about using two different fabrics on either side so that you can quickly just flip them and change. That is a great tip that I think is super useful. So here are a few selections I thought you might like. If there's any in particular that you'd like to find out more about, just check the number below the image and I will link everything in the description box for you.
So the next thing that I want to talk about that is a great way to change up the decor quickly and easily in your house is with your lampshades. Now I know this might sound a little bit stupid, but I always think of the lampshade as the hat of the lamp. And you know, if we're going to a different event, a wedding, a birthday, a, the races, you wouldn't wear the same hat over and over again. You would switch it up with the season. So if you're going to a winter wedding, you'd wear something different than what you would wear to a summer wedding. So why not do the same with our lampshades? So the lamps that I have in this room are already quite busy. You can just see that one here, which is floral. So I wanted to keep these lamps simple and just use a plain white shade. But as I've mentioned before, I am going to get rid of all these lamps and replace them with something else. And I'm thinking of going with more solid colours, probably bold colours without any prints on them. And then I'll be able to have more fun with the lampshades and switch them out from season to season. Now, I'm not saying you're going to have to have a new closet in the house just for lampshades like you would with hats or shoes. But maybe you just want to have two different sets for each lamp so that throughout the summer you can change them and then in the winter change them again just so that they coordinate with the house and make it fun you know our homes are our places where we live constantly where we relax it should be a place to have fun and experiment and maybe that is a way that you want to consider doing so So the next thing I'd like to talk about is table settings. Now for me, this is one of the most fun and versatile ways that I can change up the decor in my house easily, simply and affordably. So there are so many different elements that come together to create a table setting and all of these can be thought about specifically, swapped and changed to make them suitable for whatever season it happens to be at the time. So we have placemats, napkins, cutlery, serveware, flowers, all of these things. There are so many different styles, colors, etc., that you can play with. It kind of becomes like a real still life in your house that you can have fun with. So my advice is to start building little collections of things. Don't worry too much about matching everything up and really just think about how you can use these individual items to create a beautiful tablescape that is suitable for the season. So here is a very summery, fresh table setting for you to get inspired by. So it's very simple, starting off with these green placemats, which have got like a bit of a woven rattan feel to them. These are from Rebecca Udall. And I think these are so good because they're versatile. So you could use them spring, summer, autumn, winter. They'll always play in with the table setting and work really well. Next, I've got this plate which is one of my favorites. It's a topiary. Now you're not going to be able to buy these exact ones because I actually designed these myself. I had this pair made. So, but I will find a similar one for you that you can check out. Next, we're going to have cutlery. So I've got my Villeroy and Bock cutlery. Simple, just for a lunch, a knife and fork. Maybe I'll add in a spoon if you want to have pudding. Next, we've got these napkins which are again from Rebecca Udall and I love these because they're so simple but effective white with this green scalloped border gorgeous again perfect for most seasons but especially so in spring and summer because they're very fresh with the green so I'll put that here with a little fold and then pop it to the side and then finally we've got some glassware so I've got these rattan glasses which I got quite a few years ago from a farm shop in Scotland again I'll find a great alternative to these for you we've then got this wine glass which is kind of a tortoiseshell glass I love using this with green I think it works very very well again I've said it a few times now but this really works in all seasons but it looks so good with the green, so that's why I've chosen that one. And it's a nice big wine glass, so for those of you who like your wine in a substantial glass, <laughs> this is the one for you. And then to finish, we've got a Villeroyne Bock Champagne Flute, which I love. You can see that it's fluted around the edges, so it gives a bit of a texture to the glass and the light hits it very well. And then just a simple vase of peonies, to set the whole uh, setting together and you have a very summery 
scape tablescape that is put together quickly, easy, simply, but is very effective in transforming your house for summertime. So yeah, table settings are a great way to change up the decor easily in your house to create interest, fun, and a bit of joy in your life. So I don't know about you, but for me, scent is one of the most important ways that I recall certain moments and happy memories in my life. I only have to smell like the breeze on a jasmine tree and it takes me back to holidays in Italy like six years ago and exactly what I was feeling in that moment, in that time, you know, what, who was swimming in the sea, who was having a little coffee on the veranda, it just brings back every little moment and it's almost if you close your eyes you'll be there and that is what I absolutely adore about scent and because of that it's very easy to change the environment in your house with scent so candles have been designed for each season my candle was designed for the summertime it smells floral it smells fresh it's kind of like an open window and then uh, scents in the winter time tend to be heavier, darker. Even now, you get a, a lot of scents that smell like your favorite festive foods, Christmas cookies, um, Christmas trees. It all brings back these happy memories. And that is what I love the most about scent. But you don't have to bring scent into the house just with candles and diffusers. There are other ways that you can do it. Even just by opening the window, it's gonna bring in fresh air into your home, I live in the city, when I open the window here, I do that most days in the summertime. It's still fresh even though it's a built up area. The breeze comes in, it just changes the environment instantly. So if you live in the countryside or somewhere a bit more rural, you're definitely going to feel the benefit of that and the scent will definitely come into the house. Whether you recognise it or not, other people coming to the house will. You can also do things like make your own um, sprays to spritz around furniture on the curtains. What I always do is I just get a glass bottle, put some water in it and then drop a few um, drops of essential oil in and spray it around the house. And that is a really simple, easy, affordable way to bring scent into the home. The most organic, natural way is obviously by bringing flowers into the house. Now I have some peonies here. They're not the strongest smelling thing, but even just walking past them or if I've got them on the desk where I'm working, you get a little bit of a whiff of them and it changes up the environment in the house very quickly and evokes the feeling of summertime. So for me, scent is hugely important and often overlooked. But yes, if you are looking for a particularly summery candle, then I might know somebody who will be able to offer something that you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, I am a little bit biased about my candle, but it was created with the summer in mind. I used to live in the Cotswolds, which for me is the epitome of summertime with all of the beautiful gardens, the honey colored stone, it's a magical place. So this candle for me is summer in a scent. Think about uh, beautiful floral roses carried by a breeze, you know, walking in a vegetable garden. All of the wonderful summer memories that I had in the Cotswolds are contained in this fragrance. So I may be a little bit biased, but I think this is a great scent to bring into your home for the summer. Hey, baby. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me once again. It's always a pleasure to be here and to share some of my ideas and thoughts. So thank you. I look forward to seeing you next week. But until then, take care. Bye-bye.